Over the last 12 months, there hasn't been any serious discussions, both at the provincial and national level, to discuss a provincial disaster and emergency plan for East New Britain province. Districts in East New Britain are well aware of the problems that will be caused by any disaster-related events. Now, after the experiences seen in the 1994 eruption, Rabaul District has taken an initiative to visit schools and hospitals to do awareness and prepare its people for any disasters. Long all Narabla districts, all, all uh, districts, um, all of them must come up with all uh, disaster preparedness plan long all, because uh, all locations long all schools in one kind. Uh, too long management, management long all schools and stop long one long one uh, district. Uh, long Rabaul District, uh, me play uh, we plan to include him to all coastal schools, long as well, and we stop inside. So this is a preparedness for me. Because uh, communication for me and we link one them all. In August last year, when a minor eruption happened, more than 100 families went through a severe food and water shortage. Several villages were badly affected, forcing evacuation of families to safer areas in the inland Gazelle and Kokopo district. The cost of cleaning up Rabaul town after the two days of continuous asphalt went up to 3 million kina. Rabaul residents say the series of earthquakes and the minor eruption that happened last August were not the first and they won't be the last. The province will need at least 4 million kina to come up with a disaster plan that includes the upgrading of its existing roads that will be used as escape routes. We plan on escape route and we need the funding. So that maybe like in the animal uh, escape route, so that you're in place for ready from disaster by come up. Rabaul district is the only district in the province that have spoken out, calling on the government to set up a provincial disaster plan. There are many other districts in disaster prone areas in the province that share similar situations but haven't spoken out yet. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.